Spanner of the Morning. That belongs firmly to Charlie, that title. Sorry, Charlie. Much appreciated, Ben. Do you know what, Charlie, to be fair, one, if you don't have a big turbocharged car, why would you know what a turbo looks like? I'm just making an assumption. And two, when we were here earlier, and you know Ben said I got it right. Well, in fact, it was Justin Eagleton who was talking, who was the creator of the GCHQ puzzle. He, he told you the answer. Yeah. yeah. Also, a credit to yeah. me, I did name parts of a car. <laughs> well done. I didn't name other things. I did name things that are inside cars. Look at this. We're at Glastonbury, and the much anticipated headline acts for this year's festival have been announced. Uh, so we have Dua Lipa on the bill, Coldplay returning for the fifth time, Shania Twain as well. Our music correspondent Mark Savage can tell us more. The last time Dua Lipa played Glastonbury was in 2017, just weeks before this song sent her career into the stratosphere. I got a Two albums and seven Brit Awards later, she's back as the Friday night headliner on the Pyramid stage. Saturday, we'll see the return of Coldplay for a record-breaking fifth time at the top of the bill. Closing the festival on Sunday night will be the American R&B singer SZA, a huge breakout star whose song Kill Bill sold more than a million copies in the UK last year. But before she takes the stage, there's the small matter of the Sunday Tea Time legend slot. Let's go, That's right, Shania Twain is this year's recipient of the honour, following in the footsteps of Dolly Parton, Barry Gibb and Diana Ross. Fair to say, she's looking forward to it. This is a dream come true. I have been asked about Glastonbury now for years and it's finally coming together. I'm packing my willies and my raincoat and of course, my cowboy hat. And if they're not to your taste, there are more than 2,000 other acts playing at the festival when it opens its gates on Wednesday, the 26th of June. Mark Savage, BBC News. We're joined now by BBC Radio 6 music presenter Chris Hawkins. Good morning to you. Good morning. So this, the headline acts have been announced. We've got Coldplay, Dua Lipa, Shania Twain on the Legends um, stage. Scissor too. And Scissor as well. Um, is that a good lineup? It's a brilliant lineup. Well, I ask because we had like Elton John and Kylie last time, and that was big. Yeah. So. Last year was maybe a little more rocky. Yeah. It was Arctic Monkeys, and it was Guns N' Roses and Elton. This year maybe is a slightly lighter touch. I still think it's a fantastic lineup, the biggest stars in the world. Coldplay back again. Yeah. Does that, I mean, it is, I, I always think of Glastonbury kind of starting something new, or, you know, being different every year, but isn't this the fifth time? It is the fifth time for Coldplay, but there are 3,000 acts playing over the weekend, so there are other choices. And Coldplay have, they've developed, they've evolved, and the show is spectacular. I was at the Etihad last year, and it's something else with the wristbands, the balloons, the fireworks. Well, you've got to explain the wristbands, because they light up. Yeah, they do, in time with the music, yeah. yeah. I suppose the challenge for someone like Coldplay, and no doubt they will the rise to it, is if you've done it quite a few times before, what do you bring? You know, that is significant, because Glastonbury doesn't want it to be set the same as the show you saw. They want something that is mm. unique. That's the point, yeah, isn't for, it? For sure. And like I said, they, they transcend generations now, Coldplay, because of the way that they've changed through the years. That's impressive when you can do that. So if we were looking, by the way, you can't go. Right, because all the tickets are gone. <laughs> so if anyone's thinking, oh great, yeah, Coldplay's yeah, no. going, I'd like to get a ticket. <laughs> Sell that in one hour. One hour? Yeah. Yeah, 200,000. And do you get a second go or not? Is it, there, yeah. Some get re-released? And... There is a, a kind of resale, but not many people give up their tickets once they've got them. So essentially we're talking about uh, those people are going to see on television, who, who, and a lot of people do enjoy the moment. Mm -hmm. um, Dua Lipa, now this is one I'm excited about, Dua Lipa. Um, so she's performed before, yes. um, but now 
what should we expect? I, I would she was say... she younger, wasn't she, so, before? Yeah, it was seven years ago on a, a smaller stage, on the John Peel stage. And, and now here she is a, a global superstar. So what to expect? The presence of greatness. But very American, I imagine. Uh, very I mean, kind of glitzy, starry. Uh, she's English. Oh, is she? I didn't know that. Yeah. Gosh, there you go. I, I I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> you think she's American? I actually really like her music and didn't realise she was that English. One. Um, because there are a lot of acts, I, I mean, SZA, for example, sorry, I've interrupted no, that fine. process. SZA, I hadn't heard of at all, which is, you know, Grammy Award winning. Okay. Huge. Huge. Yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, a lot of people were hoping Madonna might mm. be on the lineup, and I would say that perhaps Dua Lipa is Madonna for a new generation. And by way of an occasion, uh, I haven't been to Glastonbury, you've never been, you have been. Yeah. Uh, just do the thing. What is so special Look, about that place? It, it's uh, about the whole experience. It, it really is magical. It, it's like nothing else on earth. It's the greatest show on earth, I would say. It's about being a part of something. It's about being immersed and escaping from the real world for a few days. And, you know, we, we often talk to artists, don't we? And when they get a, a, a gig at Glasgow, even if it's, as you say, there's lots and lots of stages, it's a, it's a very, it's a big tick box for an artist, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, there's, there's lots of support already. The announcement was just over an hour ago, and there's, there's lots of support for the lineup so far, but there's also a lot of kickback. What you've got to remember is that Michael and Emily Evis know what they're doing with this lineup. 3,000 acts, it, it's not Keith from Sirencester's dream weekend. It, it's it's something for everybody. Shania Twain as well. We didn't mention Shania Twain, Brilliant. Really, but yes, huge stuff. Yeah, massive. And if that doesn't go well, of course, the headlines the don't impress me much. Headlines will write themselves. Of course they <laughs> yes, will. That's of course true. they will. I think she will impress. Chris, thanks very much. Thanks, uh, we'll be back with you tomorrow. Do have a good rest of your day. Uh, it's morning live.